what, what the mate is talking about. Yeah. What's up, family? Kanye West is featured on the cover in the May issue of GQ. Inside the pages, there's an interview. In that interview, he covers various topics, including Kobe Bryant. This tap dancer, this all-American tap dancer, fixed his mouth to say that Kobe Bryant was the basketball version of him and he was the rap version of Kobe Bryant. That's facts, he says. They came up together. They have the commercials to prove it. They came up together, they had the commercials. They have the commercials to prove it. He said that I may have been known for screaming about things, but now I'm not taking any mess off of anybody. Do what I want to do, say what I want to say, support who I want to support. He said, I'm going to swing off the scrotum of whatever president I want to. Well, he didn't really say that, but you know he wanted to. Now, when I heard this, I thought it was one of the most ridiculous things that I've ever heard because I've never thought of Kobe Bryant and Kanye West in the same motion. Never, not once. Okay, they're both black men. Perhaps he can make an argument that they both married outside of their race. They were both very talented. But after that, that's it. Kobe has never struck me as a chump, as the sellout type, as the kind that would go with the flow. You know, y'all know how Kanye does. You know, it's like anywhere the wind blows, wherever the opportunity is, that's where he's going. And he's always begging to be accepted. Later on in that interview, he spoke about being an alcoholic, a functioning alcoholic. Kobe was never an alcoholic, never abused substances, never had a problem with that. Maybe he had a drink or two, maybe he had a smoke or two. He wasn't an addict. And Kobe has never been known to be out of his mind, bipolar. No, partner, you got it wrong. This dude basically went and found a picture and created a story. That's what he did. <laughs> there is nothing about Kanye West. I was about to say Kanye West, but you know, hey, whatever. Kanye, Kanye. There's nothing about that dude that resembles Kobe Bryant, that reminds me, makes me think of Kobe Bryant. Kobe Bryant's legacy is secure. He really did do it his way. His legacy is secure. Kanye West, if he died today, he ain't gonna be remembered for his music. He's gonna be remembered for selling out his culture, selling the people out and swinging off of Donald Trump's Scrotum. Yeah, that's what he's going to be known for. He's going to be known for making outlandish comments and constantly apologize and backtrack and just, he's going to be known for a bunch of ridiculous antics. Jumping up on stage saying, uh, Taylor, yeah, yeah, you know, uh, you had a good album and everything, but Beyonce had a better one. He's going to be known for antics. He's not going to be remembered for that music like that. And I'll tell you this. He has some good music, 
But a lot of that stuff ain't gonna survive the test of time. I don't care how many records he sold. It ain't gonna survive the test of time. Now, nah, dude, I'm not feeling it. And I think it's very disrespectful for Kanye West to throw Kobe's name around and try to connect himself with Kobe Bryant. Because I'm sure if Kobe was alive, he'd tell Kanye West, keep my name out of your mouth, sucker. No more talk. What, what, what the ladies talking about?